Hey everybody and welcome back to FTG Killer Bees. This is the Robneka Allegiance Guild Kit Championship. Orza versus Simic. Who is the best guild in Robneka Allegiance? We're about to find out. And, of course, Honeybee won the roll-off, <laughs> so she gets to go first. Or I guess she can choose to go second if she wants. Nope, I actually won't go first this time. All first. right. Hell, I'm cool. Bring me victory. With your noodly appendages. I'll go to hell. Alright. And you're done? Yes. Okay. Draw. And. Orzov Gilgate. Pass. Forest. A civic signet. Pass. Mm -hmm. And. Swamp and Orzov Enforcer. One, two, Death Touch with Afterlife One. If you don't remember, Afterlife is when this creature dies, create a one, one, white and black spirit creature token with flying. And you create as many spirit tokens as the number after Afterlife, so. Uh, okay. And I pass. Trigon Predator, it is a 2-3 flying. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. I will pass. Thank you for one. Take one. <laughs> and pass. Just want to read this. Okay. I don't have any artifacts or enchantments yet, so that's not terribly horrible. Varel of the Whole Clade. It is a 1-4. You can pay a green-blue and tap it to double the number of each kind of counter on target artifact, creature, or land. Hmm. Good. Good. Tacky with the 2-3 flyer. Mm hmm. I will pass. Alright. Tap the Enforcer. Other planes. Tap this for black, black, and two white, for Basilica Bell Haunt. <coughs> when it enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card, and I gain three life. And I get to choose a card? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to get rid of Miming Slime. And I'm going to attack you for one. All right, 18. And pass. Swimmer flying. Uh, it comes in with two counters. That is not what I wanted. I should read. Hmm. Just enters with two. Oh, uh, you... I paid two, so it's it has two right now. How did you pay two? I paid one. Ah, oh, Simic Signet. Duh. Okay. <laughs> and I will attack with a flyer. Okay. Take two. I will pass. He's gonna try and jump on the table. Oh, oh, yes. Hello. I'll let you not do that. I'm actually gonna play an Orzhov Guildgate instead. Mm. And then I am going to... I am going to... Yep, and there he is. There's the cat on the table. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> nope. um, I'm going to final payment. Mm -hmm. Okay, what okay. does that do? As an additional cost, I can either pay five life or sack a creature. I'm going to sacrifice the Orzov Enforcer, which when it dies, creates a spear token, and then destroy target creature. Okay. And then... You for three. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna that was stupid. Yeah, I suppose you could just block yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll block it. All How right. much damage have I done to you? I'm down to 19. Okay. Because I gained three. Okay. Okay, I'm past. 
Oh, I messed that turn up. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, Senate Guildgate. That should suck. So, I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to double this to four. Okay. And I will then attack before flying. Okay, I will pass. I'm going to put 1,000 lashes on him. Mm. He can no longer attack or block or be activated, and every turn you lose one life. And I... We'll attack you for three, and you can't do anything about it. Take three, unless you got a card in your hand. Boo. Yeah, I'm actually going to pay you the Signet. I actually should have done that a different way when I played that, but you go double that, whatever. But rapid hybridization, I'm going to destroy that. Can't be regenerated. You get a 3-3 three, three green frog lizard creature token. Okay. So, there you go. <laughs> okay, I pass. Right. Did you take lose one? No, I do not. I'm at 17. Right. Elusive Cressus, 04 can't be blocked with Evolve on it. Hmm. I'll be attacking with a 4 4 flyer. Okay, ping four. I will pass. They're pretty evenly matched. Have all of that to play Skeletal Vampire. 3-3 three, three flying, when it enters the battlefield, I create two 1-1 one, one bat creature tokens. Okay. There they <clears throat> are. And I can pay five and sacrifice a bat to create two bats. Or I can sack a bat to regenerate a skeletal vampire. Oh. Okay. Um, and attacking you will be pointless because you just block with that. And I'll be done. Alrighty. So yeah, that's... Uh, not going to do much in this game. Alright, I'm going to pay into the Civic. And I'm going to play Galloping Lizrog, <laughs> which is a 3-3 three, three Trample when it enters the battlefield. I may remove any number of plus one, plus one counters from among creatures you control if you do put twice that many plus one, plus one counters on it. So I will remove two from here, and he will get four. And this guy also gets one yep. as he evolves. Yeah. All right, and you do have flyers. I do. So I will pass because I can't get rid of that <laughs> stupid enchantment. And for everybody who said to play The Witcher 3 and that it was a masterpiece, I have started Witcher 3. Huzzah! The Witcher 3 is one of the best games ever made. It is. It's beautiful. It's a very pretty game. Uh, I kind of hate the fast travel system. Yeah, it it's is, not great. It is annoying the hell out of me. You can fix it with a mod. There's a mod that lets you fast travel from anywhere. Is there? Yeah. Is it on Nexus? Yes. Okay. I'll install it for you if you want me to. Yes, please. Because <laughs> I'm... I, it's original. I'll give it that. But I don't want to ride my horse around all the time trying to get to the next stupid signpost. Or smothering Tithe. I believe that is one of the most expensive cards in the set right now. Hmm. It says, whenever an opponent draws a card, that may, that player may pay two. If they don't, I get to create a colorless treasure artifact token that says, sacrifice this artifact at one mana of any color. Hmm. So whenever you draw, if you don't pay two, I get another 
one use land, essentially. Mm, good. And I just realized I have not been taking my life from the Thousand Lashes, so oh. I think I was supposed to lose. I think I'm down two now. All right. I'm going to pass then. Now you take your thousand lashes. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. All right, fourteen. Crap, <laughs> I'm lower than you now. And you draw a card. You're gonna pay the two. Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Treasure. Stupid land. Treasure for me. Yeah, I'm gonna attack with the trample. Okay. It's a seven, seven. Mm-hmm. I'm going to triple block. Six, seven. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to sack this bat. Um, that was a mistake. Oh well. I'm going to sack this bat to regenerate Skeletal Vampire. These two things will die. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm not deciding if I want to do something. I do not, so I will pass. <laughs> so if I pay two to bring out the Orzov Signet. Now I have six mana. Which I will pay all of that. Sacrifice a treasure. To play Ethereal Absolution. Mm, Creatures okay. I control are plus one, plus one. Creatures you control are minus one, minus one. Yeah, fuck that. Frilled Mystic. Flash 3-2. When it enters the battlefield, you make counter target spell. Boo! Boo! Yes, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll take my stupid lashing. You do that. Countering my sweet enchantment. <laughs> I had to. That thing is slowly killing me. <laughs> I believe that slowly killed you last time I, I played Orzhov as well. I think well. it did, actually. <clears throat> so we're having a bad repeat here. Because Emrakul is lashing me with their tentacles. <laughs> yeah. Who oh, Yucky Slime? Oh, Yucky Slime. If you know what anime that's from, call it out in the comments, and I'll give you a shout-out in the next video. <laughs> create a treasure token. Did you want to pay two to stop me from creating a treasure token in retrospect? Uh, Since I forgot to do it, I guess I'll give you a chance to actually, stop me. Yes, I will. Okay. Alright, so... Tap that. Horizontal Signet. Or Imperious Oligarch. 2-1 Vigilance with Afterlife 1. Void Slime. Counter target spell. Also activated ability or trigger ability, so... Okay, you're the worst. <laughs> yes, I'm a bitch. Play Grusalka. 1-1, one, one, I can pay a black and sack a creature. And target creature is minus 1, minus 1 until end of turn. <sighs> now we're just kind of stuck in a st <laughs> stalemate. <laughs> All the lashes just keep lashing. I'm going to attack you for three flying. Because the only guy you can block with is smaller than that. Yeah. All right. I'm at ten. And pass. Take your lashes. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Nine. And... At nineteen. No. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. 19's the luckiest number, though. Are you going to pay the two? I am not. I'm a dumbass. That technically can't be blocked. I should have been attacking you with that. Ha! <laughs> True. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, tip. So, okay. Momir Vig, Simic Visionary. 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast a green creature spell, you may search your library for a creature card and reveal it. If you do, shuffle your library, put that card on top of it. And whenever you cast a blue spell, creature spell, 
Reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put that card into your hand. Hmm. Okay. So essentially, if you cast a green-blue creature, you get to search for another creature and put it in your hand. Yeah, pretty much. I will be attacking with a one. Okay. I will pass. This is an intense battle. <laughs> oh, that's no good. Okay, now I'm being reverse mana screwed. Hmm. Attack you for three again. Uh, uh, take that. I'm at six. Are you done? Yep. Okay. Take your thousand yes, lashes. Yes, I'll take my lashes. <laughs> Five. <laughs> hey, score. Okay. No. That's what I needed. <laughs> okay, so. Cynic. Shove all these over so I have room. Experiment Crush. This gets another to count. Uh, first you search. Because this is when oh. you cast, so. Oh, when I cast. Alright, well. Uh, search all over for Critch Card. Alright. Let's see what this does. Experiment Crush has all activated abilities of each other creature with a 1 1 counter on it. Well, that's good. Tap and put a 1 1 counter on target creature. Oh, that sucks. Can I kill you before you're able to use that? <laughs> uh, I assume you didn't want to pay to prevent me from creating another treasure? No. Is it you have to reveal it, right? Do I? Oh, uh, progenitor mimic. You may have progenitor mimic enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it has at the beginning of your upkeep. If this creature isn't a token, create a token that's a copy of this creature. That's horrible. So that goes on top, and then the blue one goes off because that was also blue. Mm. You'll top card your library. Duh. Yeah, it goes into my hand. hand. All right. So this has all activated abilities of each other creature that has a plus one, plus one counter on it. Correct. So it can't be blocked. No. Or is that activated it's ability? Too? Oh crap, it's activated. Oh, well, okay. That's fine for <laughs> now. But it's still a 4-6 and that's what I need. So I'll definitely be attacking with the can't be blocked. Okay. Goofy looking thing. It just came out. We have over there just a 1 1. Mm hmm. Okay. And your flyer is tapped. So, 2 2 flyer. That can't be blocked. And so it is 7 two. total. Uh oh. It's looking dire. And I will pass. Well, I'm still getting lashed, so you, might, you have a very mm -hmm. good chance. Part of the cards. Come on, planes or swamp. Sacrifice the treasures. Great. A white and a black. And then the flyer. Your debtors now. At the beginning of my upkeep, I put target creature card from a battle from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. Yes. <laughs> Take your lashes. Yes. Oh. I'm at four. And then, do you want to pay, or am I creating a treasure? Um, uh, you can have a treasure. Okay. <laughs> oh, sweet Emmerpool, grant me victory when I pray to you. I'm gonna pay into this. Progenitor is coming out. Okay. Obviously. Experiment Courage. Alright. Whatever it's pronounced. Let me take a look at what's in my graveyard. Do I have any creatures that can save me? I'm also going to look at your graveyard and see if you have any creatures that could save me. I, I don't think so, actually. There might be like one in there that I had to discard, but. Mm. Uh, I'm going to be searching for a creature while you do that because I okay. played the blue-green. 
Mm-hmm. You might as well just reveal it and put it in your hand and not bother putting it on top. I think I know if I survive what it has to be. I have two choices and I don't know what is the best to do. That doesn't go off, does it? The evolve on that. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield. But um, it enters it as a copy, does that count? Yeah. Alright. So yeah, that'll it will evolve after. Oh look, it was on the top of my library. So. <laughs> what is it? Oh yeah, you can go ahead and look at it. Simic Sky Swallower. Six six flying trample shroud. Yeah, great. <laughs> you can't cast it this turn. Nope, I can't. I'm tapped out. Alright. Um Attack me! I dare you. <laughs> What do, you, what do you got over there? A 3-3 three, three flyer. And a 1-1 one, one on the ground. That can't be blocked. And I'll be attacking with that as well. Mm hmm So, oh, that this went off. So that's technically a 3. Yeah. If, if that worked. All right. I will block your flyer with my bigger flyer. Okay. And block your big freaking dude here with the 1-1. One, one. Okay. And I will then sacrifice it to itself oh. to give that minus one, minus one until end of turn. Okay. So I'm only taking two there, plus three is five. And I'm at two. Okay. Okay. Done? Yes, although I should have attacked you with that as well, because that would have killed you. If I had been smart, I would have been attacking you with that stupid elusive Crassus, and you'd be dead already. True. My debtor's knell is going off. That's why I'm looking here. I think I am going to have to choose Basilica Bell Haunt. You discard a card, I gain three life. That could go. That's useless. And then I can draw. That's worthless. Or is a basilica. But I think I have you. Because you no longer have a flying guy, and I'm going to attack you for three. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't have any mana either. I do not, so that'll put me down to one. And, and then you're going to take off. your thousand lashes and die. Damn. Pass. Thousand lashes. You only lost that because I fucked that up. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. Orzov is the best guild. Woo. 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 <laughs> Orzov should have lost, technically. I fucked that up. Well, I screwed up some plays, too, so. Yay. Tessa, Orzov Scion. There she is. Oh, yeah, I think there's... Tessa Karlov. Oh, there's, uh... Zagana Utopian Speaker. <laughs> she she was not as good as some of the other stuff I needed, so... I did not pull her. Although, I, I believe... You know the downside to that? Is I believe the guild master of this is Kaya right now. Which means... Orzov is allied with Nico Bolas, the bad guy. Mm. So, but our Wait a minute, you love it when the bad guys win. You want hmm. the freaking Night King to win. I do want the Night King to win. Although I am getting a little tired of Nico Bolas. I think they need to kill him and make something new. And I would really enjoy it because if they kill Nico Bolas, like outright kill him, don't imprison him somewhere. Like, I know they're probably going to do. It'll make them be creative with something else, hopefully. But, alright, so... Orzov is the winner of the Ravnica Allegiance Guild Kit Bracket. And I think next time we'll have to have the final ultimate battle. Which will be Orzov versus the winner of the Guilds of Ravnica Guild Kit Battle, which I don't remember who that was. You can go watch our videos <laughs> and figure it out. I think it was Sahili, wasn't it? 
Is it? Well, that would be Raul. Who's the Is It Viceroy? Yes. Maybe. I have to go back and look. I don't remember. But stay tuned for use. that. Until then, say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.